Back in May of this year, I did a breakdown on the shallow cross pass play that became a speed option the Arlington Renegades ran in the UFL. Now, I titled my video, Think We'll See This Play in the NFL Next Season? And the answer to that is already a yes, because the New England Patriots on Sunday ran this play against the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers' defense was caught off guard, but because of a block in the back penalty, the result of the play was negated. We're going to break down the play, talk about what's happening, and then why, in the future, defensive coordinators within the NFL have to prepare for this play on third and long. All right, this is a third and 13 play call. And as you saw, DeMario Douglas, he is the run who's going to run the shallow. He's basically going three yards downfield and going to catch it. Austin Hooper and Tyquan Thornton give it away that this is basically a designed play call to catch the ball with a screen because Austin Hooper doesn't really run around. He just runs to block the safety. Same with Tyquan Thornton. He doesn't really go up to run a route. He is really running to kind of slow play and block the cornerback. Ramondre Stevenson, he's just going to run right out. He's not going to go downfield too far because he wants to stay behind Douglas. That's why I believe this is a designed play call of we're going to run the shallow, catch the ball, and we're going to take a look and make sure that the defender that would have the flat or the defender over, over Stevenson, if that defender stays with Stevenson, then it most likely would be that Douglas would try to get upfield and get the first down on this third and 13 play call. If instead the defender who has the flat or is over Stevenson in man-to-man -man coverage tries to stop Douglas, then just lateral it back to Stevenson so that he can catch and then try and get upfield and get that first down as well. So let's go ahead here and run the play again now that I've talked about it. I want you to notice what Ramondre does because it's really important. He doesn't try to get back in the play. He stays wide on purpose. Notice he is staying wide and staying back. He is not trying to go help out once the ball is caught. He's staying wide out there, so that's why I believe this is part of the design. But you can see right there, catch, the blocks occur. Taekwon takes a very slow and bad angle, and he's able to be run around. That's why we get the block in the back. Unfortunately, uh, Stevenson is only a yard. He's a yard short. He doesn't get the first down, but it would have been negated anyway because of the block in the back. But as you can see, Ramondre, he's just going to stay wide. He's going to stay in that pitch position, staying back for the lateral back so that he can then catch the ball and get upfield. And it, it, it does work, but again, block in the back penalty negates it. We'll take a look at the end zone view of it. You can see right there, we get the blocks. And that, that I like the design of the play. That's why I'm talking about it. I like the design of it. I like how it works. Uh, just, I think Thornton needed to be a little bit more aggressive. And he wasn't. And that's why he was able to be run around and, and blocks the back. So why do, so what is the problem here? For defensive coordinators. Well, now on a third and long, you've got to be prepared for something like this. You have to spend time in practice preparing for this play. And just like I said, so what you've seen a lot of times is teams will have the receivers go block like you're seeing Hooper and Thornton do, but it's just a shallow crosser that then they'll catch and get upfield and try to get, get the first down with it. Now you have this added sequence of if your defenders squeeze down, or if your defenders try to stop the receiver who's running the shallow cross that's getting the catch, now you have to worry about the ball being lateraled to another receiver. So you have to stay somewhat disciplined and try to slow play it, or else you could get beat and out leveraged because of a, of a lateral back. So you have to spend time. You have to come up with a way to defend against it. And, and because the NFL, they'll copy a lot of things. Now that this is on field... Now that this is on film, I'm sure that a lot of offensive coaches will be adding it to their playbook as well going forward and probably add some other wrinkle that no one is thinking about to try and, and get it over the defense. But let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that this was a designed play? Do you think that the way that, it, the way that I talked about it was correct? Or do you think that Douglas is just kind of making it up as he goes along? I'll be honest, I thought that the Chiefs would be the first ones to run this type of a play. But in the end, it's the Patriots. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. Make sure to share it as well to other people uh, so that they can see this. If you enjoy this type of breakdowns, this type of videos, please make sure to subscribe. But we'll see you next time. Have a great rest of the day.
I do want to recognize the members of this channel at the booster level and above for their support. If you wish to have your name in a video just like this, make sure to check out the join link in the description below. Here on the end screen, you can see that there's another recommended video. Make sure to click that and watch it. Also, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future breakdown videos. I hope you have a great rest of the day.